Welcome to NASCAR Heat 2. In this video, we're going to go over all the new features in this year's game. All right, so we have a new UI this year. As you can see, we got a splash screen going on in the background and uh, everything's been shifted over to the left. Not to, uh, not to worry, I'm gonna show you all the new features and how to get around the menu system. Let's start with Quick Race here. We're gonna go in here and check it out. We've got the Monster Energy Series this year. We've got Xfinity Series and the Camping World Series. So the difference is the body styles. As you can see, we got the Ford Fusion and the Chevy SS and the Toyota Camry uh, right there. If we go over here to the Xfinity Series, you've got uh, the Camry, the Camaro, and you've got the Ford Mustang. Go to the Camping World Series and we have the Toyota Tundra and we have the Chevy Silverado and we even have a Ford, as you can see right there, the Ford F-150. Now with new series comes new tracks. With the Xfinity Series, we have two additional tracks. We have Mid-Ohio and Road America. With the addition of the Camping World Truck Series, we have the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, Eldora, Gateway, and Iowa. In NASCAR Heat 2, you can go head-to-head -head with local split-screen, and all three series are available to you. In Championship Mode, you can do a full season of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. You can do just the playoffs. You can do a full season of the Xfinity Series or a full season of the Camping World Truck Series as well. Challenges are back once again, and you can race any of these 29 in the default pack. Upon completing that objective for the challenge, the driver will give you a track tip. This year's career mode will start out giving you different hot seats with uh, various racing teams. You'll work your way up through the ranks all the way to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. A new addition to the career mode is the rivalries. The rivalries are back and that means that you have to be careful who you're racing out there on the track because if you keep getting into the same guy over and over again, you're going to make him mad and he's going to retaliate. This year, with the addition of momentum, you're going to have to be careful how you're driving your truck or car out there on the track. By taking care of the equipment, you'll have momentum moving into the next week, and you'll also have a speed boost. This brings us to multiplayer. We can go online and we can race 40 other cars, or you can choose to race with the AI. And you also have the option to run caution flags if you would like. On the news feed, you can check out the latest information going on with NASCAR Heat 2, as well as you can check out any kind of DLC information. On the My Driver screen, we can go in here and make our own custom car or truck. We can change the number. We can change the color of that number. We can change the paint scheme, the base paint color. You can change all the different sponsors on the car as well. And you can even change the color of the wheels. Next is the custom driver. We can go in here and make a avatar any way we would like to. You can be a male or a female. You can change their body type, their hair color, their head shape, their facial hair, pretty much anything you can think of. Next is your profile icon. You can choose your favorite driver. And when you select that favorite driver, it will change up in the top left. This year, you can now choose a different victory anthem. What that means is that after you win a race online, it's going to play this victory anthem for you and everybody in the lobby will hear it. And finally, we made it to the options menu. Now, the menu options here might be a little bit different as I am on a PC version of the game. But if we go into the game settings, it's pretty much all your quick race settings here. You have the AI difficulty. You can set them on auto easy, auto, auto hard, or on custom. And when you have them at custom, you can change them by a increment. You can change the race length here. You can change your tire wear and fuel consumption. You can turn on the flags if you'd like. You can have just no flags at all, black flags, or all the flags. Stage racing is here, so you can do three race stages if you would like, or you can do a single race stage. You can change your split screen sessions here with quick qualify race, race only, or a practice quick qualify and a race. Down on the all mode section, you have damage, which you can turn to no damage at all. You can have light damage or full damage. This year, the word simulation has been removed altogether, and you can choose to have stability help on or off. You can set it to always use custom setups or not, and you can change the transmission automatic or manual. Let's go to the controls. We can choose to drive with a controller, a wheel, or you can use the launch config tool to set up your wheel. Let's go into the controller settings. We have vibration turned on right now. If I wanted the vibration in the controller to be turned off, I can do that there. 
Uh, the physics effects means that it will shake in my hands if I touch another car or truck out there on the track. The draft effects will shake whenever you are in the draft. You can change your steering sensitivity, your braking sensitivity, and throttle sensitivity. And to test those, we'll hit the X button. And now we can see our steering and brake and throttle all in real time. We can go back up here and make adjustments to those and then watch how it will behave in our hand, right? Based off of that. Let's go into the wheel settings. If you're using a wheel, you can choose what degree you want the rotation to be set at. Uh, I have a Logitech G27, so I use 900 degrees. And now we are greeted with steering sensitivity options, brake sensitivity. We can change the force feedback strength. The impact effects can be turned on or off. The shift type can be set to stick shift, paddle, you can also have the clutch with a stick shift if you would like. On to the screen settings we go. This is the visual settings for the PC version of NASCAR Heat 2. You can choose your resolution here uh, if you want to run it in full screen or if you want to run it in windowed mode. Uh, your V-Sync options are here. You have uh, the option to select which monitor you want to be on. You have presets for your different graphic options. Mine is set to custom. Uh, you can turn on anti-aliasing or turn it off the bloom, lens flare, replay depth of field, and the shadow quality. And now we go to the sound options. This is where we can turn up the music in the menus. You can change how loud the sound effects are. And later on, if you get any spotter DLCs, you'll be able to change them out right here. Last, we have the music credits, and then we have the legal documentation, if you would like to have a nice read to that. This concludes the walkthrough of NASCAR Heat 2. My name is Jeff Aviano, and good luck out there on the track.